Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are okay. We're going to do a new project. Um, I was trying to think of something to do, and I've seen a lady make one of these tag journals. Guys, I made a tag journal years ago, and um, I sent it to my friend Debbie in the United States. Um, if you belong to Junk Journal Haven for fun, I'll get her to showcase it. I didn't tag it up. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this. Super easy, easy peasy. What you'll need, I've done a five by seven, right? So you'll need, how I going to do it to show you. So, you'll need, for each page, you'll need one of those, one of those, right? I did it five by seven. And what I do, I pick the best, best picture. But you've got to remember, when you're doing this at five by seven, you've got to remember, you're going to be making pockets and all sorts of things. Hang on a minute. It takes this. They're the signatures. So you're going to be making um, pockets and all sorts of things. So you need one of those attached to that and one of those attached to the other. So you need two of those for each page, right? Because you need to have some, you need to have quite a bit of thickness. And this is what I didn't hear them explain in that video so you definitely need two cardstock two pages for each page so you end up and then before you put it together you will do what i did so mine is five and a quarter by seven so you'll see i sewed around it into and got it into a tag shape and the way I do it, guys, easy peasy peasy, I cut one side, um, make a upper card so it's the same. Then I just turn it over to the other side and I cut it, right? Easy peasy peasy. Now, what we're going to do is put it together. So what you need to do out of all these, and I haven't done that, of course, Find the first page of your journal. And I'm going to decorate mine, right? So it doesn't really matter what mine is. But I'm going to sort of separate them. Because I actually want plain ones, fancy ones. Because some I want to keep as pages. But you've got to remember, we're going to make lots of pockets. And we're doing an eight-page one. So fancy that. In this we'll probably put pockets so this is an Edith Holden one you can use scrapbooking you can use tea stain papers I suppose um, printables I'm choosing like I said to use digis I'll put some there that one there how many is that one two three four five one two three Oh. I must have done that upside down. I did. I did. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's swap it around. Oh, I want that one. <laughs> I might bring those birds that I've got upside down here because then it won't matter if I put a pocket. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I'm getting confused now. Oh, there's one here. That's probably why. Oops. 
I don't want to muck up the signatures because I've got the signatures ready. And in the signature, at the moment, I've only got one, two, three, four, five. We're not stitching them in today. I just got five made up. I'll probably do some more signatures. I don't know. But I've got probably eight pages in them. Five, six, seven, eight. Make sure I've got the same amount here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I might have extra. I don't know. I don't know what I've done here. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to choose my front cover. I'm not really worried about the rest. Um, it's probably going to change anyway. I really like that one with the writing. I don't know. It doesn't look, honestly, guys, it doesn't really matter. Right, so there's the front. That's the back. So it's got to go like that, right? So that, when you put the tape on, so you cut your strips, like chomp them, like I said. I'm going to do that to my writing paper. That's why I'm not sewing them in. I'm also going to tab them so they look, the pages look like a tab just on that side or in that side. Right, you don't have to do every page. It's only the pages that are higher. I hope you understand that. And i chosen this fabric. It will do. Um, an inch and a half, I think it is. Now, when you tab this, so... We'll start gluing, because it does take a while. Oh, now I can't undo the glue. I've got to get something to undo this, because it does give me grief. But it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put these on this side. And what I'm doing is making sure I use this glue stick to glue half an inch right, that's how I start half an inch and get my fabric there I really like looking at my fabric and see how my fabric is just to there just at the end of my, so you're making sure you do that. Then you've got to make sure that that's like that, but get your next page ready. So, oh, yeah, that's going to be for on top. I'm getting organised, right? So don't stress it out. And that's going to be like that. And you've got to leave a uh, quarter of an inch. Right, so you always got to make sure, and it'll be like so. It looks big. Hang on a minute. I can't see, and it's not like I can. Oh, yeah, that's no, all right. You can always trim, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is glue here, and I'm going to do it a little bit different to last time I used fabric glue all the way around. I'm going to use another glue to um, just use a little bit of glue there. Plus I haven't got much fabric glue. And you always make sure that that is really glued down. Okay. We've done that, haven't we? All right, and you're going to do this all the way through. I use the S glue, guys, when I'm sticking cardboard to, to, ooh, to cardboard. And it doesn't matter if the brush is wet. I normally wet it. Wet the glue with the Yes glue or you're not going to get... Um, it's going to be harder to put on. Just make sure that... Oops. Now I'll do it. Because you've got to make sure you don't overwater it, right? You only need a bit on your brush. 
and I forgot to get something to, and I normally just lift it up just to make sure. And I needed the roller. Uh, I might have a bone folder here. I like mine. I make sure that there's no way that this is going to bubble up or any of those things that could happen. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, I need to find something to say. So that one goes down. I might change my mind on that one. I'm going to use that one. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can trim it. And see, I can move it around and all that stuff. And that bomb folder there was there. It's really good. I've got everything around me, right? And I'm going to turn it over for a minute. And you always work from left to right. See, in anywhere where it's, um, mightn't be, you know, you might have just cut a little bit less or whatever, you can fix it. So that's going to be my front. So now this is going to go, I think, let me think. That's my front. So I don't want to mark up because it's easy to mark up with this. So I'll do it this way. Yeah. Because then this will fold like, no, it will fold that way. Like so. Yeah. All right. Again, we're going to make sure we leave a quarter of an inch. And I want the front page. So I call these front page. I hope I don't stuff it up. Look, if you do, it doesn't matter. Um, it's still going to work out. So a quarter of an inch, you do it with the glue. Or if you got Mod Podge or whatever, um, if you use a glue stick, you might have to sew around both of it. I aim to sew down there when I've um, so that is right, I think. So that will be like that. So we're going to turn it over. Now, don't go gluing anything down have I got half an inch a quarter of an inch just make sure yeah I have now go that way and before you glue down you need this oh, it looks so nice that fabric but I want it on the outside genie thingy so you've got to put glue that always work on your left, so you don't get confused. This is a good project, guys. So you always got to put fabric on each side, except for the last page. You only do it on, and first and last page, you only need one piece of fabric. Okay, just making sure, I want to make sure that it would grab Alright, because I don't want the wet glue on my right. So oops. Because you really want it to stick down. Like so. And I'm just going to run, run the bone fold. Like I said, you can do this with digis, guys. This is such a fun project. Like, seriously fun. What did I use? A front page. Right. Now. So this will go down. Um, do I have to add? Now I'm getting confused. So put it to the... It'll be like that. No, that's all right because it attaches... Hang on a minute. Oh, I'm getting confused, guys. That's me front page. 
No, that's right. So I always keep it like that. Then I won't get confused. All righty. My glue, and I need something. I just need... Uh, I'm going to use that so we don't get glue over my desk. All righty. So we're going to put the glue down. Oh, we didn't put glue on the... Oh, yeah, we do it on the other page. This is so good, this glue. I love it, guys. It, it's especially good when you're collaging. It'll last you for ages. I find it better than the glue stick, right? For the simple fact is... Um, it actually sticks down and doesn't buckle up. Like, ooh. Right. Now, we're going to put... Fabric glue. Remember, this is your back panel, and you're going to put your glue there. So it gives all that fabric down. Uh. Yeah, so I hope you're all well and, you know, doing um, some good things. I've got to tag the lady from the lake. Oh, she's got some good videos, guys. If you need to watch her. So I line it up with the bottom, right, and then take it to the top. So, like so. Now I'll just, just don't get confused. Like so. Like me. <laughs> like so. So we're working from the left. So we get another page. Just making sure. See, leaving a quarter of an inch. And we're going to do our front first. I've got to make sure that the front does come to the front like so yeah it does like so and you always work from the left gosh i hope it makes sense guys i really try my best to, um so we do need a front don't we i just gotta make sure <laughs> yeah now don't forget we better put that fabric piece down first on the left side, right? So there's no confusion, none whatsoever. So you know it's down and um, you won't forget it. And then do this side, like so. Like I said, if you're gonna use a glue stick, um, and then sew around after it, after it. Look, it'll be all right to sew. Your machine can handle it. But you've got to remember, you've got double cardstock and you've got the Edith Holden pages. I love Edith Holden, guys. Oh, I only need it for that side. I need it. I'm going to do it like so. Try and get calico. This is not calico, but it still works. It's a bit thicker. But I like it, you know. I like how it looks. Now, this is going to go like so. So I just turned it over to make sure I got a quarter of an inch. Because that's what you need. And you've got to cut this to size, guys. Because if you don't, your book will be out of whack a bit. Okay. Right, we'll just check it to make sure. Because you can always rip the fabric off. Just remember that. Yep. Okay. Now, we get the board. Oh, hang on a minute. I've done the front. So it's the back's turn. <sighs> So, again, we're going to, oops, 
Sorry, oh gosh. <laughs> Have a laugh at me, guys. Yeah, I did one. I didn't I don't think I made I think I made five page one. I don't know. So these are all called basically pages. Right, and in between them you can do signatures. Not big ones though. Just make them so that they're um I always use the fabric glue to stick my fabric down. It's just helpful, right? Like so. Now I'll get me my glue. And I glue all around this. You notice I do this last because fabric glue does take a bit longer to dry. And like I said, this dries beautifully, this glue. Um, I love it. You know, I hate running out of glue. And glue sticks I do run out of. So this makes a difference, if you know what I mean. Like so. And then later, you can always check to make sure that your um just make sure you're even that's how i do it check the bottoms pretty good and always cut your paper your top and your cardstock to size right Sometimes it's hard to do, but anyway, I try and do it. Make sure you've got a quarter of an inch, because that's where you're going to show your signatures in. This is like a flip-flop, but and when I did this years ago, it was called Never Ending Journal. I've seen a lady um, have one. So again, we're working from the left. So I might just put that like so, sit down. So remember, um, we need a top. Just love it, guys. Now, hang on. Yeah, we're working from the left. God, I think. So, I'm going to glue that. First, we'll glue the material for this side. So there's no confusion. And we'll put the other piece down too. Because you always got to put two down, right? Because it, it, this is, it does get confusing. Con confusing. This is like doing um, um, a flip-flop journal, but with um, envelopes. But instead, you're actually using... Um, cardstock. And that's going to go there. And that's why your fabric's got to be the same height, guys, so that your book doesn't end up wonky. Just got to make sure it's a quarter of an inch. Yep. Like so. Which way do I want the fabric? That way it doesn't really matter I just like the look of it this can be any way I like the look of the other way though and again I get my glue and really make sure it's gluing all right. gluing those ends and like I said guys make sure to check um, all around where the fabric goes or just sew them down with the sewing machine. I don't think I'll be doing that. I'm just going to make sure, oops, I'm just going to make sure the glue is actually it did properly. So I haven't rubbed the thing down. That's why that happened. I want that paper so it doesn't get on my desk. 
this is a good project I actually enjoy because what I do guys I do a bit at a time it's a bit like by the time you get the pages ready and everything it's a bit fiddly now that was my front so we need a back so you choose something for your back again line it up my pages look a bit different just to look they're not going to be perfectly straight but it'll be all right hang on a minute this looks a bit big have i made a mistake no it's because it's not the fabric's moved I'm just going to make sure it's correct. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. It, it's moved. Uh, we're not sticking that down yet, guys, because we've got a problem. So, the glue's dried up, and I should have... Um, And I didn't put the glue on there. That's what I think I did wrong. I didn't. God help us. That's why it's moving. So make sure you got your glue. All right. So, leave a quarter inch out. Then you've got to glue this. Because that's the part I didn't glue. And I don't think I've got it. Oh, now I'm getting sticky. Now we're going to make sure. There. All right. Now we'll just make sure you've got a bowl finder or a, you know, a paint roller. I normally, that's what I use. But yeah, we're going to do some interesting um, stuff on this. So this will go, hang on a minute. So that's our front. So it will fold in like so. See how we got two parts for our signature? So we go back, we're working from the left. So there's no confusion. And I do confuse guys, I'm telling you. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Right, now you're going to go like so. So, we're going to get our glue stick. I mean our glue. Hang on a minute. Wrong one. We need a front. You start with the front first. Well, I do. You can start with either. Like, Well, I like to have a front that I've actually chosen. This glue is playing up, guys. You've got my nails done. My carer come and took me out yesterday for two hours, guys. It was so nice. She's so lovely, too. And um, it was just a treat to get out of the house, you know. And so she took me in and um, got me nails done. And it's really good, um... She parks up right close to the door because she's from the hospital. Like, they organised all this so that I've got someone that can actually take me. So, that's going to be like so. 
if I haven't got enough glue, like I said, we'll touch it up after. That's going to be like so, because we're working from the left. And then we've got to make sure this will have glue. Ah, I haven't got much strength. I believe there's something you can get now for our um, glues. And I'm going to try and get one. I don't know who sells them. I've got to look. Now we're going to get our brush. And we're going to brush this on. Oh. Not really prepared properly, but do you know what, guys? This, it's going to still work. You know what I mean? You're going to enjoy this. It's just a, a good project. And for people that don't like um, doing all the signatures and that, you can keep adding on to this. You know what I mean? Like, so easy peasy. So you can actually do a 12-month journal and... Actually, so you need a back and that's got glue. I want to make sure it's got some more. So you can keep adding on, right? And create a 12 months daily. So you can just put four signatures. I mean, sorry, four pages per signature. Oh, I reckon six will be all right. And you've got a monthly journal. It's easy peasy peasy. A bit of a prep um, and all that. As long as you realise you're working from front, from the left, and you're working from the front to back. That's all you need to know. And like I said, if you want the measure, you can do any measurements. I like the five by seven size. Oops. This seems to have moved. So I'm going to put my sticky fingers in there before I do it down. Oh yeah, it's still, it's not like I like it. So we just move it a bit. It's all good. Like so. Get our bone fire holder. Oh. Right, I haven't got a camera that far fast forwards things, guys. I just got to do it this way. Right, eh? We need a front. And you always remember, your front's always going to be that way. So, what we'll do, I'll just make sure that's glued properly. Right, and what I might do is fold it like so. Just makes it easy for me to work with, and I can always undo it. And to make life easier, I'm going to put this tab down first. This glue is not very good to me. But anyway, it was warm yesterday. This morning I've got two dressing gowns on because I'm a bit fresh. Like, I get cold real easy, guys. So next week I go to the specialist and um, they are going to start me on a new treatment which is worrying me it's got a lot of side effects and I'm just not excited you know how you get not excited I might so that it doesn't move all right now we'll have to put that one down and this is when we do have to open it up a bit one page to make life easier like so, and we're going to, I'm going to move it a bit. It's hard to move it a bit, but anyway, we're going to try it, right? And I'm going to put glue on the top of this to get it ready. Okay, we're going to get this, get that prepped, because then it's easier. Just watch you don't go in the glues in the... So I better bring it forward. Like so. Make sure you've got a quarter of an inch. 
Isn't that exciting? Yeah, look, if that lady hadn't showcased her work, and I'm just, is it screeching owl or wandering owl? I just, I know the word screeching was in it. I've seen her book. She used digital prints. As you can see, I am using um, Edith Holden. I have got six books of Edith Holden. So yes, um, yesterday was the first time I'd been out in two weeks, guys. It's just hard. I can only go out for two hours. It's just, honestly, super duper hard for me. Oh, I get tired. Um, I can't walk far. Um, even though to get to the next town up from me. So we need it back. Um, isn't far away, it's still hard on my body. Now, this is where we've got a problem. I haven't got it enough in there. And that should be right, I think. Because when I'm even, I've got to look. No. See, that's where you don't use your bone folder to you know it's lined up. <laughs> Or you're going to have a disaster. So I'll measure it to that one and I'm sticky. Like so. So make sure your fabrics are straight, guys. Because that's what it really is. It's your fabric. You know, cut your strips similar size. I was, I just tore into mine without thinking too much about it. Now I'll move it. There you go. I can tell now that is straight. Where's the bone folder? And we're going to go like so. I don't know how long we've been, you know. I just... Right. So we have got... One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six pages in. I am going to do the rest of line. Oops. Hang on a minute. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I did. I changed. I didn't work from the left. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I didn't work off the left. Oh, yes, I did. There's my front. So this goes like that, guys. Like that. And... Hang on a minute. This has got to be my front. So I had it the wrong way. Like so. Like so. Like so. Right? But you work from your left. So there's the start of our books. And then, like I said, when you're done, because I've still got four pages, I mean, two pages to do, and I'm not going to do any more online. Get your papers when you sorted them. And then what you do... So this is the front of your book. You can have a signature in there. I'm going to have signatures in most of mine, but I'm going to do between six to um, eight pages. Right, so then we can turn around and go like so. But just leave room, room for pockets, right? You don't remember we've got two more pages to put in. But see how cute that is? But I might keep going and adding pages, you know what I mean? And that way I left room then for my... Um, for, um, because you want writing space in your signature, but you want to use some of your back pages as pockets and whatnot. So that's that. Now, this journal is going to be given away. Remember I gave it away. What ended up happening, guys, is this journal, um, I gave the lady something different. There was a journal she actually really wanted, and I gave her that instead. So this will go off just before Christmas. She, in turn, went into my Etsy shop, and 
bought this journal and we decided between us that this will be given to you guys as a gift. This is a gorgeous journal. You have to like and subscribe to this channel. There's also a little mini journal. I don't know quite where it is. That's supposed to go off next week as a gift. So please like, subscribe and comment. And I can't remember where it is. It should be somewhere here. It's just I'm trying to sort the... Um, so you know what that one looks like. But thanks for liking and subscribing and everything, guys. And um, this is the gift. We'll come back on and work on this journal. We'll be making pockets. I'll trim, you know, like do this offline, that part. I'll put the other um, page of two pages offline. I'll see if it's enough. If it's not enough, then I'll go back to the drawing board and make some more because I like this. I just think this is really good. It doesn't necessarily – look, I'm not a writer, but, you know, somebody will be a writer. Just make sure it's a quarter of an inch. If it's a little bit wide, it doesn't matter because we can add more signatures. But remember, work from left. Put your first page to the bottom. Your back page, I call this my back page. I call that my front and that's my back page where I'll probably do pockets and all that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll finish this off and come back with the next video for it. Thank you. Bye.